Camera Science for Rock here uh, in my new accommodation uh, at a loft in Glasgow. So, just thought I'd come on and get a wee easy song. Um, I seen that the trailer was out for the new Stranger Things and it put me in mind of a song that I get asked for a lot when the last one came out and it was Should I Stay or Should I Go? A uh, great song, really good. And it's a great song if you are maybe changing from acoustic to electric, right? Because the chords are standard open chords and you can change it at any power chords if you wish, right? We're just going to look at the standard uh, open chord version, right? So, first thing is we need a D. And we need a G. And we also need an F. It's up to you really how you want to play it. I'll play it like so. Some people might play it like this, but I'll play it just like that. First finger covering these two, and one. On the G string, second fret, with your middle finger, and put your ring finger on, this, on the A string, on the third, and put your pinky underneath. So, in the beginning, the intro, it's going to go, this trump pattern is going to go down, up, down, up, right, on the D. Down, up, down, up. Then you're going to come up to the G. Down, up, down, up. And then on the last D, you get one strum. Down, up, down, up. Right, so you're going to do that with two, right. This wee, right, the wee iconic wee bit. So it's a five on the bottom string, on the bottom, right, and you're going to play, and you're going to hammer on your knee, right, so it's going to go. Should I stay or should I go? Can't remember the words off the top of my head, but it's quite an easy song to remember. So what you're going to do is you're going to play that, this bit twice for the verse, right? So your intro's totally separate, right? So you just do it twice with a bit. One, two, three. One more time. Then we're going to change it, now we're going to go with G. Down to the D, right? Right, so we'll go through that back again. So G and then F and then a G. Then you go back down to D. Right, and then it's going to be A7, right? Should I stay or should I go? And you start it all over again. Right, that's it. That's basically it. It's a pretty, pretty easy song. When it gets into the chorus, it starts. There's no gaps in between the strums, right? It's just going. So you get into that. But it's the same chord progression D to G, back to D, D to G, back to D. Then it's G to F, back to G, and then back to the D to the G, and then it's that. A7 Should I stay or should I go? Right, you can, it's a good fun song. Right, this can be, it can be played in acoustic, it can be played in electric. Totally up to yourself, whatever you want to do. Uh, I just want to, I don't, I've not played much electric songs on my channel. So, uh, if you tuned in, uh, you probably follow me already. Uh, thanks for following me. Um, I'm going to get some more content uploaded. I'm going to spend a bit more time. Try and get one at least two or three times a week, hopefully. Um, if you get any requests, file them down below in the comments or contact me on social media. Um, also, 
we are starting kids guitar groups and adult guitar groups who've got spaces for uh, one to one lessons either on Zoom or face to face. Face to face is better because you can't beat it. Um, but let's say if you thanks for following me, subscribing, thanks for watching. If you like it, give us a wee like, give us a wee share, whatever you can do to help us get out there. Thanks again. Peace.